Jama'a. Uh, we have a great lesson today. This is um, an intermediate lesson, we're going to call it, because we're getting into verbs. Um, so, here we have with us today, I want to introduce you to the number one verb used in Arabic, most frequently used in both Fusha, and, which is a written Arabic, and the Amiye, which is Lugadarji, the spoken language, is can. Can. Now in Fusha, it is canna. In Fusha, it is canna. But in Amiye, in the spoken language, we, it's simplified in that we take off the last uh, vowel marking, if you will, or harake we say in Arabic, um, off of the last letter of the verb. So, um, in Arabic, in Amiye, it's can. That's it, can. And I say, well, wait a second, that sounds like can in English. I can, you can, we can. Well, yes, it has the same sound, but it, of course it has a different meaning. What does it mean? It means he was. He was. And that's it. Or you can say it was. If it's a masculine noun that you're describing, um, that you're using the verb with, you, for example, a chair, el corsi can. The chair was whatever. The chair was heavy. El corsi can ta'il or ta'il. So it was or he was. That's important for you to remember that we do that in Arabic we have either it could be masculine for a person he or when you're talking about a thing um, it would if it's a masculine thing you would describe it as, as also with can it was. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you the past tense conjugation for this verb. So it is um, he was, she was, they were, you were for a masculine. Okay, all right. Um, you feminine were, you all were, and then of course I was and we were. Keeping in mind that you could be talking about not only him, or he was, but it was. Okay, so this could be it was and it was if it's a feminine noun. Okay, not only for people but for things. All right, here we go. So we're going to the first conjugation is here. It is can. All right, can he was can for the girl. It becomes can it. Whoop. Can it. Alright, so who a can or just can? Can it. Canu. Alright, canu, which is spelled like this. Let me put it over here actually. Canu. There it is. Canu. Canu. So can, can it, canu. Can, can it, canu. Canu is they were. They were. Okay? So let's look at those again. Can, can, can it, canu. Notice this one, of course, has a dumme on it. Canu. All right. So every verb you're going to see is going to have. No, ha no harakat here with the hu, hu with. This is the default. Hu with, whatever. In the, in the past tense. The past tense is always a default in Arabic. Not like in English where you have present tense being the default. So, can, can it. You add a fatha and a ta. Okay, can it. On any verb this works. Then you have canu. Canu is... A wow and an alif, canu, okay, on the end. And now we're going to take a look at, all right, the second person. Okay, so here we go. Second person, kunt, is kunt. That's how it looks, okay? In the fusha, of course, you have a harakat on the, uh, you have a harakat on the end, a vowel marking. 
uh, depending on where it is, how it's used in a sentence. Um, however, in mostly in Levant, we don't say kunt. We do say it sometimes. So some people say kunt, kuntunak. You know, I was there, or kunets. All right. So the kunet is more of a, a lighter dialect. So if you're a person who is not pronouncing, let's say, the cough, because you know we in, in Arabic, you can pronounce the cough as a g or a e, g or a e. Uh, okay. So here. If you're doing an e, eh, which is more light, you'll probably say kunit. Um, a lot of people who use the g, the heavier accent, are going to say kunt. Okay? So we're going to go with kunit. Okay? We're going to go with kunit um, for this. So kunit, and you can say kunt, but kunit is for a guy, you were. For a girl, it becomes. Kunti, kunti, kunti. So you're rushing, kunti. So you're rushing to the sukun, kunti. So, kunit, kunti. Kunit, kunti. All right? You were, you were for a girl. Okay? Now, the last one on this line is uh, you all were. And here's how we do it. Okay. Okay. So it becomes kun tu, kun tu. Remember when we saw the u on the end here? The u is the plural. It it for second person and third person. It is the plural um, indicator that comes on the end of a past tense verb. So here we saw kanu. Now we're seeing. Kuntu, kuntu, kuntu. You all were. So let's do that again. All right. Kunt or kunit, kunti, kuntu. Kunt, kunti, kuntu. Kunit, kunti, kuntu. All right. And the very last line is um, I and we. Okay. I, it's very simple. It is exactly the same as you. All right, exactly the same. You masculine. All right, so it's kunt or kunitz. So, inta, inta, kunitz, ana, kunit. Same thing, no difference. You might say, well, wait a minute, how do you tell what we're talking about here? What, what do we, I mean, how do you know? Well, the way to find out is from the context of the sentence. So we all know, you know, context-wise, if it's not clear, some people will say, or excuse me, enta kunit, and, or they might say, ana kunit. Any enta kunit, ana kunit. All right, and then, la and then this one, so this is I was, and then the last one is kunna, kunna. Now, uh, because the plural first person indicator is a noon, all right, you have a doubling of the letter. So can already has a noon, and now you have another noon that's the indicator that we add on the suffix. So what happens is you we have to double the letter now and it becomes kunna. 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 So we were kunna. All right? Now we're going to go through them again and we're going to conjugate them or inflect them, if you will more correctly, inflect them. And here we go. Can can it canu Again, can, can it, can you. Kunt or kunit, kunti, kuntu. Again, kunit, kunti, 
Kuntu. And I, the first person here, Kunit or Kunt, Kunit, Kunna. Kunit, Kunna. You just learned the past tense for the most used verb in all of the Arabic language. And no matter what dialect, it is the most used verb. Now, that's a big deal. Okay, so congratulate yourself. You want to practice these um, by yourself or with a friend or whatever, practice partner, and get used to saying them, get used to conjugating them uh, or inflecting them. And in another lesson, we'll give you the basic present tense verb. So you can have this for can. Until then, um, take care. Inshallah, Allah yikun And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.